This is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. We are here at CES 2018 with Copen. They are a micro display company you may have never even heard of. Their technology is embedded in a lot of other products, but here they're launching some of their first consumer facing products with the Solos, which is a micro display for cyclists. And it's embedded in some glasses. And here with me is Stuart Nixdorf for uh, Copen. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the background of Copen and markets you guys have played in and why you decided to get into this micro display for cycling. Sounds great. Thanks, Jake. So uh, Copen's been around for 30 years. We're the world's largest micro display company, shipped over 30 million units and been working in AR and VR since 1991. Most of what we've done has come out of military development and uh, soldier deployments where you're trying to understand how form factors, products, technologies come out and kind of to, to help somebody solve a job. And so over the past six or seven years, we've been developing concept systems and reference designs to help people understand and envision how to use products. And three years ago, we started a project called Project Rio, which was for the Rio Olympics, where we worked with the U.S. women's uh, cycling team to develop sports glasses specifically to help them improve performance get to ramp up for the Olympics. So from there, we launched the Solos. This is the outcome of that product. So this is the Solo Smart Glass. So this is the uh, uh, first Olympically used uh, product to, to come into the market. It's a lightweight, fashionable pair of sports glasses that have uh, high resolution display, integrated audio, integrated voice control, and allows you to see your workout metrics on the product. I did have the opportunity to demo these earlier. It is a very bright and clear display, and it connects with an app that shows you miles per hour, uh, how many calories you're burning, a lot of things that you'd be interested in while you are cycling. So, I mean, it's a very compelling and small form factor in terms of the display on the side of your face. So it's, it's not going to be distracting while you're on the road, which I think is probably one of the key issues with any sort of HUD, that you don't want it to be in your face. You can look at it if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to be focusing on that. Exactly. And so I think that's one of the key things we learned in the early development of the product is that you have that have that there for you and it's assistive technology so you can glance at it and keep focused on your drive and workout because safety uh, and productivity are key. And so at here at CES, I mean there was you there was a competitive product from Garmin that came out, but I think that you guys are right in there in terms of form factor and how well it looks and it's well designed and you guys obviously have a history in micro displays which is great and what is the price point that this is coming in at and when is it going to be available to the consumer so this is the second generation solos it was introduced at ces uh, yesterday and it's going to be launching at 499 and to be available in the second quarter great one of the other things too that i think that Copen is doing that I think is very interesting in the VR space is really up leveling the resolution and the experience the consumer is going to get with some of their 2K and probably beyond in the next few years micro displays. So Stuart here has in his hands a 2K micro display yes. and this is going into some new VR headsets that will probably be out at some point this year. Uh, but again, incredibly small form factor. And when you think about VR headsets today, most of them are probably 720p at best. And that's been one of the main limitations of VR and really getting an immersive experience. Many of the cameras that are now available that are 360 degree cameras are shooting in 4K or better resolution. And that when you're actually watching playback in a VR type headset, you're just not getting the footage the way that it's meant to be viewed, and especially in stereoscopic 3D. So with this technology, we'll be able to see better resolution and just a better overall consumer experience for VR users. So why don't you talk to me a little bit about how this is going to be embedded and where you guys see VR going in the future. Excellent, thanks Jake. So the, the 2K by 2K, this is the world's highest resolution display. It's 3,000 pixels per inch. Uh, it run at 120 hertz. And so what we found from the VR market is two things. One, they wanted to have extremely high lifelike experiences, which is resolution, speed, no lack of latency. Uh, and the second is very, very small size. And with a micro display, you're able to shrink the size of VR headsets down about 40%. And that allows you to get a very thin, lightweight, uh, small design that's easier for people to use for longer periods of time, more comfortable to build better industrial designs, and I think most importantly is allowed to feel and see like a uh, beautiful real-life image. 
Very nice. And so when could consumers expect to see something like this on the market with better resolution uh, and just a better VR experience and, and who you may be partnering if you can share any of those details? Well, we can't share who we're partnering with, but within the next 12 months, you expect to see a family of these products out into the market. Just like you saw the Solos a few years ago as a concept system and a reference design, and now out into the market, you will be able to see the uh, ELF reference design come out in a platform of products, uh, hopefully here at Next CES. So here you have it, CES 2019. You'll be able to check out some of these really cool headsets that will be coming out. Uh, again, this is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. I'm here with Copen, uh, one of the leaders in the micro display marketplace.